Welcome to a slightly different video. As you can see, it's Daily Race A. This was actually the first Daily Race A I did of this week. Now, we are talking about, as you can tell by the title, dirty driving and bad driving. And there's one particular driver we are looking at in this race because they do dirty drive and, you know, Twitter was saying, you know, call them out and all this stuff. But I thought I'd do it in, 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 a, in a more productive way. In showing you the difference between bad driving and dirty driving. As you can see, we started the race here now. Uh, and we're going to head towards turn number one. And you're going to see in the distance there a red car go for a move on Mr. Anthrop there. A little bit of a collision there and they both end up off. And then I get hit from behind there and get fired in to the thick of it there. Uh, and uh, causes a bit of a collision. Obviously that's not my fault I got hit from behind there. Nothing I can do. Let's rewind that though. And let's focus on the red car on Mr. Anthrop. And we're focusing on Mr. Anthrop here uh, especially because, you know, this is where, you know, dirty driving has come into play. So we're just heading towards turn one here. And the red car, geez, a bit of a gap there, goes for it. There's a little bit of a tag. Potentially ping is involved in there. Uh, and that forces them both left there and causes a little bit of carnage. Now that's not the end of the world. A little bit of bad driving there. Nothing major. Okay, you know, the red's gone for a move. There's been a slight tap. They've gone into the barrier. You know, things happen in racing. That's one of them. We have to deal with ping and collisions. I just jumped back to myself here uh, and we're going to continue on the race now for quite a while and I talk to you about some bad driving in this um, and you can see the German up in the distance as well um, as we then come into this left hander so this race obviously with road cars is a little bit sketchy anyway especially when you have two very different cars here we, you know we've got this old 993 uh, and then we've got the newer um, Porsche there as well I can't remember which one it is it's 991 I think don't quote me on that as we head towards this left hander so the person at the start who rear-ended me was the driver who is currently behind me at the moment there, uh, Garden MGF 666. And, you know, they rear-ended me. It's just a bit of bad driving, okay? You know, it's not the end of the world. They've made a mistake. There was an accident happening. Everyone slowed down. They didn't slow down as much. It's just a bit of bad driving. We all have bad driving. I have bad driving. You have bad driving. Everyone has a bit of bad driving in them, you know? Uh, and there is always a confusion sometimes with bad and dirty driving. As you see, Garden's gone for the move there. Got a little bit too deep. But it's just giving me enough space there to continue racing. Again, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, I'm going to be a bit frustrated by that, as you would. Um, but, you know, I still stayed on the circuit there. And we are racing at the end of the day. We are racing as we come through this left-hander. Uh, but Garden goes into the barrier there. Um, and can't do much. Bounces back on. Hits me. Again, if it was you, as I was at the time, I was very frustrated by that point. Because, obviously, it hit me at the start. It's got a little bit deep for an overtake. But, you know, I classify that as still an overtake at the end of the day it wasn't dirty driving uh, and then you know it's gone too deep again uh, I believe it or not I guess what's going to happen very soon they're gonna go too deep again so you can see that that is bad driving okay it's not dirty driving it's just bad driving outbreaking constantly um, you know it's constantly making mistakes and we've all done it as I say bad driving is um, a normal thing in racing you know we all have bad moments we're human we all make mistakes again mistakes bad driving and you see garden in the distance and go off to Narnia there. So, we overtake that person. We don't see them again. Uh, the German, Mr. Amphrop, had gone off in the distance. This is another little bit of bad driving from myself, I would say. You know, so I've gone to overtake the Italian around the outside. The Italian hasn't realised, realised when there's been contact, then obviously thought about it, and has actually gone off here. I'm just going to stop it here as well, just talk about this. Because I'm expecting, so I don't know what Schizo was in terms of driver rating, B or A, uh, but I'm expecting that driver to be at the top split standard uh, when I'm racing here and understand that I'm on the outside. And obviously not everyone's going to be like that. So that's bad driving in my in my perspective because I need to be more aware that not everybody is the greatest driver in the world. And I'm not having a go at Schizo because you know he's just racing along. He realized there was contact when it happens and tried to give me space. And then obviously thought about it afterwards and has gone off to Narnia there. So, you know, it's, it's bad driving from me in the fact that, you know, I should be more uh, I, I don't know what the word is uh, but basically I you know I know these drivers some of these drivers are not gonna be the best in the world okay it's for real we're racing DRA and DRB you know they are still better than DRC and DRD and DRE you know and you've got to understand that so sometimes bad driving is yourself trying to make sure that you can race other drivers of a different skill level now we carry on with the race now as you see we're racing behind uh, Hertie here you see the other German in front of Hertie there Mr. Amfrop as I say that's the driver we're really focused on here um, because that's the driver that's going to turn into a dirty driver at the end of this race okay and that's where we're going to get to and we're going to look at it properly 
and show you the difference. I'd say we've seen a lot of bad driving already where there's just been little contacts, little decisions made where it's just bad driving. You know, my decision to try and go on the outside of the red, uh, red car, the Italian, um, and their decision to maybe not use the radar or understand that someone behind is catching up quick. I'd say it's just bad driving. It's not the end of the world. You can improve bad driving. It's all good. I, I, I have no problem with bad driving as long as you learn from it. I learn from it. You learn from it. Everyone learns from it. This is the point of the video, really. What's the difference? Bad driving is just little decisions. You're still trying to race clean. You know, they try to race clean. The minute contact happened, they tr tried to give me space. We're going to have a perfect opportunity again of this on this lap with uh, Hetty here as well, um, who does try and race clean this entire race. Okay. So we're going to head towards turn one here. Head towards this braking zone. And uh, we're going to chuck it in here. Lovely little apex made there. Happy days. And uh, through we go. Uh, let's see what kind of moves we can do then on Hetty here. So heading towards the left-hander. Are we going to go for the move? Not quite. But uh, we're always going to do the thing that I always do here. You notice how Hetty goes deep here? I always try and stay to the left. I said this in the guide to really get a good run out of this corner. And I did it last lap. Tried it again this lap. And you can see they obviously went to second where third gear was better there because you get the change of gear. Now, uh, critical here. Look, he gives me space, okay? That's one thing I want to remember this as we go around this corner. He gives me space, or she does. And as, as we come through here, just a slight tap, nothing major, puts me into the barrier. Again, it's just a little bad driving. I actually had a look at the telemetry afterwards, and they were genuinely lifting there. They were just trying to get around the corner. And I'd say, it's just a little bit of bad driving. At the end of the day, not everyone is the best in the world. You can make mistakes, just didn't leave enough uh, of a gap. You know, I have no problem with this driver. You know, they've tried to race clean. They gave me space before the corner, just didn't leave enough after it. It's not the end of the world, okay? That is bad driving, okay? And bad driving isn't necessarily wrong and people shouldn't be called out for bad driving. What they should be called out for is dirty driving, which is exactly what we're about to see here. So we're about to head to the left. Hetty's about to have a brilliant run through that corner on the German in front. So goes for the move and the Miss Amfrop cuts him off completely here. And then there's a bit of contact there. And then what's going to happen is the German's then going to ram into me and make sure he pit maneuvers me. As you see there, he did another little turn there to make sure I got pit maneuvered. And round I go. And that is dirty driving. That's purposely taking people out, not leaving space. That is dirty. That's a big difference, okay? Bad driving. They're trying to leave space, okay? But they're not quite doing it. Wow, that looks a bit weird rewinding it, doesn't it? Dirty driving, purposely not leaving space, purposely putting people into the barrier. And these people need to really think about their actions because you can see it on videos like this and people get called out. So, uh, and we've seen in the race, by the way, Mr. Amfrop has had no interaction with this German driver here or myself. This is pure dirty driving. So if we come through the left and watch now, watch Mr. Amfrop specifically. So he goes for the, he purposely turns across hair T here. I have no idea why. And then comes across, hits him. And then there's a little bit of tag here. And then look, goes for me turns turns again you see the second turn there to make sure i've been pitted he then drives into hetty here again so hetty is having a bit of an issue here because he wants to just drive by again doesn't leave space horrible driving now i don't know why he's done this because the next race he doesn't drive as bad it's so confusing but that is dirty driving please 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 do not do the dirty driving as they cross the line we have to go back to me who was doing donuts to try and come back on the circuit. And this is why I didn't show this race. The other reason was as well, you might see a little bit of a, a brightness issue uh, that has been solved in um, future races. Oh, it's a 997. Apologies, wrong Porsche, but uh, that's, the, that's that then. But you can quite clearly see there, bad driving is where somebody's trying to race clean. Yes, they'll have contact with you, but they're trying to leave space. Sometimes they outbreak themselves. You know, different skill levels will have this problem. And as you go through uh, the driver ratings, obviously, the bad driving is reduced as you get up to top split. It still happens in top split, but not as much as say down down in the uh, lower splits. The dirty driving and the stuff that really needs to go out of this game, and really you, you as an individual, if you are a dirty driver, if you are Mr. Amphrop in that video, you need to stop doing that, because that is just awful driving. Uh, do not purposely pump people off. Now you know I have a three strike rule, okay? We were nowhere near that guy, that entire race. That's why I showed the entire race. We were nowhere near, and that happens. It's ridiculous. We don't want it. Stop doing it. Dirty driving is bad. That's going to be it for me now, folks. Uh, an interesting video, bad driving versus dirty driving. Um, if you want me to do more on this, do let me know in the comments. If you did like the video, make sure you like it. Uh, if, you know, if you want to watch more, make sure you subscribe and do all that good stuff as well. If you disliked it, again, make sure you leave a comment. I'd like to hear the dislikes. I, re I read all comments. 
uh, and I will act on that as well. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me now, folks. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in another video or live stream very soon.